I've been working on the Navajo Nation since 2012, and during that time I've seen people use kerosene lanterns, gas lamps, candles, people have connected their car batteries to charge electronics in their home, and all of these things are fire hazards, all of these things cause indoor air pollution, and to combat that, you know, solar technology, solar energy is a really good, viable option. Goal Zero and Yewa Knowledge Distribution are partnering up on the Navajo Nation to donate 40 solar light kits to 40 homes, and that includes a solar panel, a solar generator, and two LED lights. I go to school at Dana College, and uh, I don't have electricity to do my homework in the evenings. It's going to be a good thing for me to have, to have uh, light. Trying so hard to get electricity up here all these years, going for 19 years now. So I never really thought about this in my lifetimes. I know about it, I hear about it, but it's just never really consider it. Most of the time, I haven't a hard time to turn that home and let on. <laughs> so I'm really excited about it. For us, nighttime security for people walking up in the dark, that's a great thing. But now we can read a little more. Now we actually have a place to charge our phones. So sometimes our phone's dead for a day, day and a half. We use the batteries for our light system, and then I have, before the batteries, I use Coleman uh, lamps. And now I have the solar system, which is so awesome. I don't have to go run to the store and buy batteries anymore, which is the most awesome thing that happened to me. The light is going to give me a lot more time um, at night, uh, working on my weaving, my carding, my spending, all the uh, luxury that I can do at night. What it is, it's, it's an investment in their health, it's an investment in their livelihood, and it's an investment in their education. We hope that our work will help contribute to the transition on Navajo from dirtier energies to cleaner energies.